Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to be doing your March 2019 monthly general reading. And happy birthday, Pisces, those of you that are celebrating birthdays. I hope you guys all have a beautiful, blessed birthday. I am using the vice versa for you guys, double-sided cards. But I will be flipping them as if they had backs. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And just as a reminder, Pisces, I am reading for a lot of you. So it's impossible for the reading to resonate for every single one of you. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. You know, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video. In the description box, Pisces, Spirit, Pisces, March 2019, Pisces, okay, dropping cards for you guys. Okay, central issue, the magician, nice. Your foundation, eight of wands, recent past, two of swords, beautiful. Crowning you, the strength card. Moving forward, the Ace of Swords. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, this would be your traditional side of the Eight of Wands. You guys have this side. So, there could be some very turbulent communication or lack thereof. You know, I feel like in the past... With the Two of Swords, like, you're finally, look at that moon. I mean, really. You know, you're finally seeing the light. You're, you're finally seeing things as they really are. You know, maybe in regards to an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a fire sign. With strength, most likely a Leo. You know, I also feel like delays with communication. You know, this is also delays with travel, canceled trip. You know, I do feel like you're, 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 Pisces, that you're dealing with an eight week time frame for some of you. When it comes to what you're waiting on, you're definitely gaining clarity. You know, and this is also getting the guts to communicate with someone. Definitely. And it could be internet communication. You know, this side, as we know, is, is you know, fast-paced movement in general. You know, this here with delays is something that maybe you didn't see before, but you absolutely do now. You know, this is the confusion, being blinded, you know. Sure, it's emotional, but you see it. You know something?
there's something that, that you can't do. There, there's some sort of decision that you're making. You have the two and the ace of swords. You know, both of these cards are about clarity. Taking off, taking flight. You know, and what's interesting is you have it here too. Taking off, taking flight. It's very, it's so interesting. But, and what's really interesting is you know, you take flight but you end up in turbulence anyway. But then at the end of the month You're, you're, you're going to get the courage. You know what it is that you, that you need to do. You have the courage. You know, in the past, this is moving away. You know, you have the magician in your central issue. So, so you're manifesting something new within your life, Pisces. Whatever it is that you need to do. Because now you see it. You know you've been in a negative cycle. Or you're going to continue to be in a cycle of manifesting this new beginning. You know, the Ace of Swords is mostly about communication, clarity. It's also about speaking, thinking, and being clear. I feel like you are dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius that's literally just going to cut through the bullshit, get to the point, you know, where they're blunt, brutally honest, but it might be exactly what you need right now. And I say that because you don't have the courage. You know, this is your traditional side of the strength card, non-traditional. And you don't have the courage. Oh my God, how could I miss this? And look at this. Both of these cards... You have the cycle. That is so interesting. I love this deck. It's such an, an interesting deck. Some of you literally, literally, you have to look at the card. Have the devil in your space, Pisces. Literally. If you're dealing with a Leo that you don't like, I feel like you've been in a very long-term cycle with them, but you do have a new beginning. And I feel like you're manifesting, really, your wishes, your dreams. And, they're go and they're, they are going to come to fruition. You know, the strength card clearly shows, really, that you are in a negative cycle with a Leo. Or you could have Leo in your chart. And you're the one in a negative cycle. And you need to break out of it. But the only way to break out of it is to get the courage and the strength to go for what it is that you want to go for, Pisces. Go for your dreams. Open your mouth. You know, speak up, say something. You have flight indicators. Mm. 
Maybe you do need to get on a plane and go talk to someone. Cut through the garbage, the bullshit. And that's it. I mean, I love it. I, I feel like there is a lot of hope here. Even though you don't have the courage or the guts, I'm just saying, there is hope here. Especially if you're dealing with a Leo. There is definitely hope here. Like really, some of you absolutely need to get on a plane. Or someone else does. And, and speak, communicate. We need to clarify. I'm going to use the Gilded for, you, for this reading. I just feel led to it. And it is one of my faves. Um, so because it's the monthlies, we are doing reversals, right? Weeklies, we don't. Monthlies, we do. Um, okay, I want to go right to this Eight of Wands first for Pisces. Still at the Ace. Eight of Wands. All right, definitely this one. Um, the Magician. Okay, it's going to be that one. Right, let's see what we got first here. Okay. So there is someone, most likely a Leo... The Ace of Cups in the reverse, getting in the way of your love life or getting the way, getting in the way with this, with communicating with someone that you care about. This Leo is probably dragging you down, dragging something on and you're trying to break free of it and you can't because you don't have the strength right now. But, you know, this wishing upon a star with the Nine of Cups, getting everything that you want. You know, because of these two cards here being in this negative, this negative cycle, you know, that does, it, it indicates, you know, it's delayed. But when you get everything you want, Pisces, make sure it's exactly what you want. I'm going to get one more card there. Okay, well, the Hermit flipped up. Sign of Virgo. Some of you are wishing for a Virgo. Literally. Some of you are wishing for a Virgo, trying to get away from a Leo. That's exactly what it looks like. Bye to the Leo. You want the Virgo. Or because you don't have the strength, the courage. You know, you could be literally Pisces going inside your shell and basically just being a dreamer about it, being alone. Or the Virgo that's emotional but successful on their own. You know, you might be trying to partner up with this Virgo. But still this Leo is in the way. And, it, and it's a communication thing. You know, you have two big communication cards here. With the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. And it's turbulent communication. But then, but it, it, but at the end of the month, it isn't. Strength card. 
I think you're going to get the strength, really, and just go for this. Strength card for Pisces. Okay, definitely this one. Wow. You are. If you didn't have the courage or the guts before, you do now. Even though this is a clarifier, you know, it's, it's fast-paced energy. Fire and air. You have one or both of these signs. Definitely one is a Leo. And then Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords for Pisces. Okay. Definitely this one. There's your Virgo. Not going anywhere. But at least it's not reversed. They're just not going anywhere fast. Probably a little bit of, you know, maybe stubborn. But you need to talk to a Virgo and they're closed off. But you are going to try to get to them. I'm going to get one more card on strength. Okay, the Five of Cups. There's regret and loss here regarding a Leo. You know, I feel like some of you, if you are trying to talk to someone and are having interference issues, others of you are closed off if you're dealing with an earth sign that's closed off. You, like You need to find a way to break through somehow. I feel like you're definitely dealing with a Virgo. But you, Pisces, you could absolutely make some big shit happen here. You, really, your wishes and dreams. Or you could make them a reality. You have the power and everything that you need to make your dreams a reality. You know, you might even make someone else's dreams come true. Vice versa. Someone might do that for you. But you need to be the one to speak up first. And let them know what you're thinking. And stuff like that. You definitely need to speak the truth. Definitely. You know, you speak the truth and this will turn up right. You know, it's still, even though it's the ace, you know, but that's the eye of spirit. You know, blessing this new beginning for you. Literally, giving you your wishes and dreams. Emotionally being very, very happy. You just need to go for it. All right, Pisces. Love it. Love your reading. Love you guys. Again, have a beautiful birthday. And I'll see you guys back here soon. Take care.